welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is Brianna and today I'm going to be sharing some of the different items that I've purchased for my classroom so this year I'm going to be a first year teacher this is an absolutely crazy year to be a first year teacher but I'll be doing ninth grade English so right now this school district that I'm working for kind of doesn't really have a solid plan of whether we're actually going to be back in the physical classroom I live in Texas and if you guys have been keeping up with the news coronavirus cases have been spiking every single day and so it's looking like we might be online for the first three maybe six weeks but nobody really knows right now so these items I have that I'm going to be showing are with the intention of being in a physical classroom whether that will be in a month two months maybe next semester I'm not really sure but these are the different items that I've purchased for my classroom I watched a ton of different videos of what I should have as a first year teacher I also got some items based on what I saw as a sub I was a substitute teacher for almost a year in middle school and high school so I kind of took inspo from different classrooms that I worked in and also just from other YouTube videos so everything I mentioned will be linked down below I made a whole Amazon list and so some of these items were gifted to me from friends and family members and then some of them I purchased myself I think right now I have spent maybe like $250 total on my classroom but I kind of took a pause because I don't really know when when I'm going to be in the classroom. So here are all the things I have so far. Okay, so let's start with everything on this cart. Let's bring it forward. So the cart itself is either from Target or Michaels, but it was gifted to me from my sister. So it's just a three tier utility cart that I had planned on using to kind of store different supplies and stuff like that for kids to be able to use. But I don't know if they're going to be able to share different things like pens and pencils. So I'll definitely have to think of a different way of using this if we do go back in the classroom. So let's just go through in no particular order. So I bought a bunch of these little like black and white different buckets to hold things like pens, pencils, highlighters. So I bought a bunch of different just plain black big pens and then a couple of different ooh, red pens. Have some different colored highlighters in here. Everything keeps falling. And then here I just have some pencils and these are markers that I actually used to use for my bullet journal but I haven't used them anymore so just a bunch of different Crayola markers. And then this one is just a bunch of different colored felt tip markers. I also have some Sharpies in here as well. And then these were just things that I use in my bedroom that I don't use anymore. So they're good to just hold pens, pencils, and stuff. Okay, so I bought more of these. And all of these buckets are from Michaels. I kind of wanted to have like a black and white chalk burlap theme. So I bought some black and white ones. And here I just have other stuff like erasers and then pencil sharpeners. And I also got these, I think from Hobby Lobby, these just like chalk stands that you can write labels on. So my idea was to have this as like a supply cart and have all the different like pens, pencils, and markers that students could borrow and then have a separate one for dirty. So after they use them, instead of just putting them back into the one that has everything, they would put them into a different bin that I would sanitize. So that's a possible idea for whenever we go back to school, but I still need to work on that just to make sure that it's as clean as possible and to prevent germs from spreading so you know I had to buy this it's kind of bent up now but this is just a college banner from UT Austin Hook'em Horns the college that I went to and if we do go back in the classroom I'll probably order some more of just different major colleges in Texas yes I'll probably even do A&M stuff like that just to hang on the wall this is from Amazon it actually feels pretty cheap but it's just to hang on the wall got some scotch tape this I got from Target and this is a cute, some of my letters kind of got squished up, just a cute little letter board that lights up and so you can plug it in and it lights up like that. And right now it just says, welcome to English One with Miss Stone. This is cute from Target. This is a huge pack of like 500 different paper clips because you always need paper clips at least when you're in the classroom and there's actual paper. Then I got three of these different um, tape dispensers with some extra tape to put on the inside. 
two of these extension cords because I did want to have kind of like a phone or a technology charging station so that if kids need to charge their devices they could have that at the front of the classroom. This actually might still come in handy because I think even if we go back in the classroom most of the stuff might still be online just to prevent all of the different pencils and papers and stuff like that spreading. So these actually might come in handy. These were each $5 from the Target dollar section. Then I have three different staplers and I bought some extra staples. These are just the Amazon Basics brand. Some post-it notes, a couple of rulers just because, I don't know, usually at some point in class you need a ruler for like a project or something. This is a doorbell, so you plug this into an outlet and then you can push the button and have just like different chimes as an attention getter or anything like that. So this is kind of cool that I saw other teachers use, so we'll see how that works out. This is just an organizer that has more supplies. Um, I bought a lot of stuff from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. That's from the brand Ray Dunn. So you'll see this kind of like font and that cute handwriting. And in here I just have scissors, more pens and markers, and then a hot glue gun just because might need one, who knows. But this is another cute little organizer. Okay, so here's all the other Ray Dunn stuff that I found. This one says, be happy. This one says you got this. They're really like inspirational things that I just wanted to kind of put around the classroom for kids to see. This one says no bad days. And this last one I kind of got for myself to just, what do they say, manifest. So this one says best teacher ever. In here is a bunch of random stuff. I have some expo markers, thumbtacks, binder clips, extra staples, index cards, whiteouts. What else is in here? Yeah, pretty much that, just a bunch of random supplies. I also have all of my extra letters for my letter board. So this is a magnetic organizer that I planned on sticking onto my whiteboard that has some Expo spray, some erasers, and then some different dry erase Expo markers. Really cool that it's magnetic. It also sticks to this cart. So I was thinking about maybe ordering more of these to kind of just organize the different supplies within the cart. These I randomly found at Michael's. They were only a couple of dollars, just a different like a chalk stand. This one's an arrow that you hang up and then another one that you hang up because I kind of want that theme of like chalk, burlap, black and white. So this could be handy for labeling different stuff around the classroom. Not sure exactly what yet, but I just thought I would pick these up. This is a box of pre-sharpened pencils from the Amazon Basics brand. I think these are like 500 pencils maybe. It's a lot. How many pencils? 150 number two pre-sharpened pencils, which was actually pretty cheap for the amount of pencils and they're pre-sharpened, which will save a lot of time and mess from having to sharpen pencils. This is a hanging file system that has five different folders. I'm not going to open it because it was honestly kind of hard to get close. I'll show you guys a picture of what it looks like, but I planned on putting this somewhere on the wall for absent work. And so for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, whatever was missed, there would just be the worksheet or the paper in there and kids could just go to the folder, pick out whatever day they missed and have the absent work ready for them in these folders. These are just plain sheet protectors. Then I got a couple of different packs of just plain college ruled paper. My sister gave me some random folders that she didn't need anymore, so I'm sure I'll find something to use them for. This is an electric hole puncher, which is pretty cool, just to make it easier to punch a lot of papers at once. And the last thing in my cart. The last thing in my cart are these patches for my laminator that I'll show you guys next. Okay, I saw this in every single video I watched about things that you should have as a first year teacher and this is a scotch thermal laminator to just laminate papers which would be good for things that you want to preserve, use as examples, put up on the wall. So I am so excited about this. I haven't opened it or tried it out yet, but I definitely will use this to make labels and laminate any important documents. So pretty. 
I got this essential oil diffuser because you can't light candles in the classroom because that is a fire hazard and this is the same one that I have in my room just a different color so I really wanted to have this to kind of add some freshness to my classroom I saw a lot of teachers buying air purifiers to try to help with the spread of all the germs and stuff those are really expensive so I'll have to look into it but I might actually end up buying that as well this oil diffuser is awesome I know I'll end up buying more paper, but just to get started, I have some just plain white cardstock and then some copy paper. As far as classroom decorations, I kind of haven't bought a lot because I want to just pause and not get ahead of myself because one, I do not know when I'm actually going to be in the classroom and two, I haven't even seen what my classroom would look like. But I went to Michael's and they had a whole bunch of like teacher classroom decorations and so I got you know, the classic borders. I only see teachers have borders, so I figured I would use them at some point. So I got white and then black. And then also to fit my theme, I found this like tape burlap that I could also use to border like a bulletin board or do something around the classroom. These are just plain white Christmas lights I've had for a while. I used to put them in my room, but I got different lights behind me. If it's not a fire hazard, I would like to maybe string some lights around the classroom just to add some positive vibes. And I've seen this a lot in classrooms that I've subbed in, so I definitely wanted to have some form of string lights around my classroom. I got this sterile tub of drawers from Walmart. I have two sets right now, so six total. I might end up buying more just to use for different purposes. I think I'm going to end up having six different periods of English, so I would just have like period one, two, three, or whatever it is to turn work in. And then also maybe have another stack of drawers for whenever work is graded to be passed back. Also, I've seen teachers use this just behind the desk to organize different things like stuff to file, to copy, and all that stuff. So I definitely do need more of these drawers. Okay, so there's just a couple of things left. So I bought six of these black different crates from Target. They were only $4 each. So lots of times when I subbed in English classes, which is what I'm teaching is English, I would see that the kids would keep all of their journals or notebooks like in a bin in the front of the classroom. So I bought six of these, but the way that things are going, they probably won't, it probably won't be the best idea for all the kids to share all of their stuff in the same place because that will spread germs, they'll have to touch other people's notebooks, so I actually might have to find a different use for this. Maybe to store my own files or something behind my desk, but I definitely will find some way to use these, but again, this pandemic has kind of just made things a little bit more difficult. The last thing I have here is a DIY project that I made. So this is supposed to look like Scrabble letters and it says Miss Stone, which is my name. All I did was this white board is actually from a ladder shelf that I bought a couple of months ago. If you guys saw that video, you know that I made a ladder shelf in my room. That just didn't really work out and we ended up taking it apart to throw away, but I actually saved this board to use as that backdrop and then these letters are just these wood squares were found at Michael's. All I did was use Sharpie to outline the letters and then I just painted over it in black. Super easy, super simple and I used Gorilla Glue and hot glue to put those on. I might just put this like on the whiteboard, on my desk, somewhere to decorate. So. This is my only DIY project that I've done so far, again, because I'm kind of pausing on all of the classroom decorations until I know more of what is going to happen. That is everything that I have so far for my classroom. Again, this is such a crazy time to be a first year teacher, so I'm kind of trying to shift my focus to figure out ways to make online learning more interesting and engaging. If you have any advice or tips, please comment down below. Also, if you are a teacher, what other things do you think I would need for the classroom? I did want to buy a Keurig machine for me and definitely more things as far as organization goes and filing and all that stuff. So please leave me any recommendations that you guys have. Um, again, a lot of this stuff was gifted to me by friends and family. So thank you if you did donate. If you guys would like to donate to my classroom, I have that list linked down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you in my next video. Bye y'all.